everyone, welcome to another Wet News Wednesday. I'm Catelyn. Are you wondering why you're watching me in black and white? The explanation is simple. I'm back home and when I'm back home I go to the doctor and sometimes my dermatologist makes me look like the little angry red emoji. And I'm not angry, I'm just really red. So I figured I'd spare your eyes and show it to you this week in black and white. Anyway, let's get into the news. After a 6.9 magnitude earthquake rocked the small country of Nepal uh, and also caused an avalanche on Mount Everest, no big deal, um, 5,000 people have been estimated to have died, over 11,000 people have sustained injuries, and almost half a million people find themselves without a home. Kinda puts crying over Dr. McDreamy into perspective for you now, doesn't it? If there's any way that you can donate or help uh, assist this small country, they really need help from all of us all over the world. Because, um, you know, we all live our daily lives and you never know when something that's absolutely out of our control is just going to rock everything that we know. Um, so thoughts go out to everyone in Nepal and props to anybody who can find any way to help them. Other big news this week, 18 million people tuned in to see Diane Sawyer interview Bruce Jenner. Uh, he announced that he is actually a transgender individual and is making the transition to becoming a woman. Uh, and this is fantastic because I think if somebody as recognizable and, um, you know, famous as Bruce Jenner can kind of bring more light to the gender equality issue, that's awesome. Also, Bruce, what the fuck are you using on your hair? It looks amazing. I need it, like, now. What Kardashian Shine product have you been given? Need. Immediately. Well, we've gone back and forth for a while, kids, but Loretta Lynn is officially our new Attorney General. No, she's not a country music superstar as her name would suggest. She is actually the first female African American Attorney General. Um, so yeah, you go Loretta. Following the funeral of Freddie Gray in Baltimore, violent riots erupted all over the city. Um, unfortunately, stealing attention from the 10,000 people who were peacefully protesting. Um, riots aren't cool, guys. People don't like having their homes and storefronts broken into. It's just not the right way to do it. And proving that was my favorite clip. When a mother sees her son trying to join the looting and, well, there's only really one way to say this, opened up a can of whoop ass on that child. That's right. Monitor your children. No rioting. Guys, come on. It's the Baltimore Orioles game will be the first one in Major League Baseball history to be played with no attendees. Okay, I'm gonna amend that. I don't really think there are so many attendees anyway for the Orioles. Sorry guys, no offense. I'm just saying it how I see it. Um, but yeah, no fans. That's boring. No hot dogs? Robert Downey Jr. is getting a little grief for walking out of a junket interview while promoting his upcoming uh, Avengers Age of Ultron film. Why did he walk out, you might ask? Because um, he was doing his job in promoting a movie and the guy wanted to talk about how uh, RDJ used to do drugs and serve some time in prison and, you know, you don't walk into somebody's office and just start asking them personal questions, guys even if they do use Facebook in the workplace. That's their line to cross, not yours. Plus, you know, it's the Avengers. Did you run out of questions? I'm confused. Do you consider yourself a person with dry wit? Do you pleasure yourself to photos of Larry David? If you answered yes to either of those questions, get pumped because Hulu has won the right to stream Seinfeld. That's right. Insert weird bass solo here. I can't do it. I can't. No. Sorry, I can't. But yay, Seinfeld! As previously said, 
Popular ABC drama Grey's Anatomy killed off Dr. McDreamy this week. Why would they do that to us? Well, I'll tell you why, because they've killed off everyone. Everyone. And so, you know, only people left are more major characters. R.I.P. McDreamy. R.I.P. Your hair will live on. Coming up this week, the U.S. Supreme Court will vote on marriage equality. I don't have a verdict for you yet because neither do they. They're still listening to, you know, lawyers talk about things. But I'd just like to point out for what feels like the umpteenth time that you cannot constitutionally deny any taxpaying American citizen the right to a legal contract. <laughs> Lawyered. Well guys, there wasn't a lot of news this week. Unfortunately, a lot of it was deep and dark and depressing. Um, so. Our thoughts and hearts go out to everybody in Nepal. If you can, please donate. I know there are a lot of different charities um, who are trying to help out. I'll try and dig up a couple and put it down below. Um, if you haven't, please uh, subscribe. And we do like comments. Uh, do you want me to get out of the bathtub? Do you want me to talk about something I haven't talked about already? Just let me know. I read them. I like them. I love comments. It gets very exciting. They come to my email. I get a thing. Stick together. Be nice. If you feel the ground shaking, please make your way to a doorway. I think that's what you do. It's been a long time since I received any kind of earthquake training. But doorways. And always remember, if you can't make good decisions, make safe ones. And be nice to your fellow people. You never know what they're going through. Uh, but I'll see you next week, guys. Please remember to follow me on all this stuff and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, yeah, and my face will be back to regularly scheduled programming next week. Bye.